said transracialism makes more sense than transgenderism. How? Because race is actually a spectrum. Race is actually a social concept. Gender is binary. Mm. There's male and female. That's it. Mm -hmm. There's nothing else. Mm. Right? Race is actually a spectrum. Right? If I were to have a child with an Asian woman, mm -hmm. my child is going to be mixed. Mm -hmm. If she is mixed and we have a child, the child is going to be... Race is a... It's, a, it's actually a social construct. Mm. Yes, it's based on our DNA and ancestral history, but these terms we use, nobody's actually black. Nobody's actually white. No one's actually these yeah. literal mm. colors. Right? If someone is mixed race, with the fact that we even call them black, right? If we call Drake black or we call Barack Obama black, right? They're just as white as they are black, but due to the social construct, we call them black in many cases. So it's actually socially constructed and it's genuinely a spectrum. You can meet someone and you're like, okay, what race are you? And it's like, well, I don't know. Like, my grandparents are from here, my mom's from here, my dad's from here. Intersectionality, they that's are a hermaphrodite. Something that's male and female. Okay, so that's two. You're making you're further making my point. Right, but show me something with three or four or five genders. Amen. Hermaphrodite Amen, is a type of sex where you have combined chromosomes of male and female. Of what? Male and female. That's two. Combined. <laughs> that's Amen. That's two. And that, that's my point. There's only two. Amen. Yeah. It, it, now, that's my point. There's only two. You, you'll never see a, a non-binary uh, non-binary zebra. You'll never see a, a two-spirit horse. Amen. You'll never see a frog that thinks he's a, a monkey. Always listen to people of color. Oh, hey, I'm a person of color, and I think modern anti-racist philosophy is a pseudo-religious cult that creates a false victimhood narrative, renders us powerless so that activists like you can save us and feel good about themselves. Not you, you're racist! Shut up! Oh, so you only listen to people of color that say exactly what you want them to say. I'm doing this for your benefit. I'm protecting you. Hey, have you ever had an emotionally abusive boyfriend? Yes. He would get angry every time I said or did something he didn't like. He made me feel completely worthless and he justified his behavior by saying he loved me and was trying to protect me, but it was all just for his validation. And the really sad thing about emotional abusers is that consciously they really feel like they're showing love and being protective, but they're actually just seeking to control the other person or people of color. There was another tweet that said, the Democratic Party is comprised of racist white liberals. That is correct. Am I a racist white liberal? Well, let's go back. Um, and, and let's say, I will say this, that many people in the party don't, are not aware of their own racism. Let's go back to an early part of this conversation where you said to me, are you concerned about the color in the White House? Um, why, why would you ask me that question? Because you speak about black issues. No, but, and why, I but why would you, why would you ask me? But let's it. get to really the nucleus of this. Why did you ask me that question today? Because I'm Why did you feel that I needed to be concerned about that? Because you, you're bringing a whole group of young African-American okay. leaders to the White okay. House. Okay, so this is something that I talk about often, is that in many ways, white liberals don't realize that you, you put on that, the racism and the, the conversations that so we you're, have So you're are, saying I'm a racist. You haven't let me finish my statement, you keep okay. cutting me off. Go ahead. Okay, the emphasis that you place is always on having a discussion about race, okay? You guys are insistent on having a conversation about race and telling us that we should see, and implying that we should see race everywhere, and I don't agree with that. If you don't look at me according to the color of my skin, you would simply ask me how I thought that Trump was doing as a president. But instead, you try to drum up a conversation that's surrounded by race Candace, by asking me, "Are there enough black people in the White House?" You're bringing a whole group of young black leaders you to the White color, House. You see color, I don't. Do you think you can change your gender? Physically, yeah. No. I guess, of course, you can change your gender. That doesn't mean that people are always going to respect you. What you're born as is what you're born as. If you can change your gender, can you change your race? No. Why? Because that's just how you're born. Isn't your gender how you're also just born? Yeah, I see, I see where you're getting with, but right now we do have surgeries available yeah, to change gender. We don't have that for race yet. So maybe in the future, that could be something. You do have certain creams that can make you lighter skin. So yeah, you can kind of, in theory, change your race. Michael Jackson, was he white when he was, when he was that skin color? I still call him a black person, but he was white skin. But these people are so out of touch with reality. It's unbelievable that this is going around. The West is a laughing stock for other nations and countries. That these are the type of discussions that we're having and we're actually arguing whether a man can become a woman and a woman can become a man. But the same doesn't apply to race for some reason, according to these people. No, you 
you can't change your race, I feel like one is actually a stagnant part of identity and the other one like is serious, but it's in a different form. It's not the same concept. Race is your roots, where you were born with from, you know, ages ago. So I isn't, think- Isn't your gender where you're, what you're born with too? That's true, but I think it's a different, like- If you can change your gender, can you change your race? You cannot change your race. That's a whole different topic. Why not? Because I think there's a bit more history behind, you know, if you're black or if you're in general a person of color, there's more history behind skin color than there's behind gender, I think. Your race isn't your option, but your your gender is. If you can change your gender, can you change your race? I don't think so, no. Why? Because, like, that doesn't make sense. Because, like, why would you want to do that? Because you're just, like... When you be like making yourself like more oppressed, isn't that like kind of- You have got to be kidding me. She said, why would you want to do that for? I ask the same question of people who are supposedly changing their genders. Why would you want to do that for? But because it's socially acceptable in this degenerate nation, it seems to be normal to these people. Well, what if it's the case that becomes the norm that people can change their race? Are you going to accept it then? And one thing people need to be wary of is people like this who change based off of society and what society dictates. These people don't hold to any values for themselves. They just change with the wind. Kind of weird. I couldn't just wake up and just, even if I bleached my skin, like I know people that do that. I have friends that's from Jamaica and stuff. And I can't, I can't see them as a different person. Like the whole Michael Jackson thing. I mean, Michael was, Mike was black, even when he went light or white, he still was a black guy, so. She, is, she was born white, she said she was born in the wrong body, and she has uh, now claims African American, and has, is now tr transracial. So, what, what do you think about that? Therapy. What about therapy? She needs it. You were born I in agree. the wrong body. Yeah, I wish I had Magic Johnson's body, but I didn't get it, and that's just what I was born with. I was. You know, I was a D1 scholarship college athlete, and I was scouted to play Major League Baseball, but I was told I was too short. So technically, I was born in the wrong body. I just don't understand how you're going to go and say, oh, yeah, I'm white, and now I'm not. Like, from one day to another. It, it doesn't really make sense. What do you think about Rachel Dole's all situation? Do you think that's fine? I mean, like, I'm not black, so I wouldn't really speak on that, but they don't seem to think it's fine. So I would say, no, it's not fine. She this is how stupid these people are. She starts off by saying, I'm not black, so I can't speak on that. And then she goes to say, well, black people are not fine with it, as if all black people think the same way and all black people, when black people as a collective somehow agree on something which is not possible. Therefore, she's not allowed to do it because black people, as if black people are a monolith, dictate whether someone could be black or not. These people are people who will vote. Just remember that. He gets a lot of hate. Um, and honestly, as an African-American person, I kind of see it almost as not necessarily flattery, but I think the way I see it is a lot of people don't want to identify with the African-American community or associate themselves with it. And so it was almost kind of jarring to me to think like, oh, other people might want to become part of the community. And so while I definitely do not recognize her as an African-American or um, condone people necessarily appropriating other cultures, I think it's so nuanced and I don't necessarily condemn her for what she's done. Uh, do you think identifying as a different race is offensive? I don't think it's offensive. It's, if that's what she wants to do, then that's what she wants to do. It's fine. It doesn't bother or hurt anyone. You can't just wake up one day and be an African of African descent. I mean, it just doesn't work like that. I mean, if, you're, if your background is European, your background is European. To me, that's even more egregious than someone who gender-wise thought they were a boy or girl, to be honest with you. Do you accept her into the black community? Not as a black person. She can be accepted as who she is. But as a individual that identifies as a black person, no. Do you think someone who is a transracial is making a mockery of black people? You know, everything that blacks had to endure, um, all the way going back through slavery, through civil rights up to now, and still with different injustices within society, it's taken as a slap in the face to many. If you're born a man, you're a man, right? 
Not necessarily. Why not? Because you might not be feel like a man. So if you're born a man, you're you sh you're a man, right? Um. Yes. Your race is what you're born with, and you can't really change that. Yes, that is what I'm saying. And same thing goes with, with gender. What you're born with is what you are. I would agree to that. At least at the end, someone could agree that whatever whatever gender you're born with, that's the gender you stay with, and you can't transition to be the other one. But anyway, that was another video, another reaction. As I usually say, if you guys enjoyed the video, like the video as much as possible. Comment down below, subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Guy, and I am out.